I've got Nilzinho here from Team Heretics. Congratulations on that first map. Now, we noticed there were a few changes that, that happened on that map. Can you share with us a little bit of what happened? And was this uh, something that you prepared specifically for Foot Esports? Yeah, so it wasn't specifically for them. Uh, but the way our veto worked last night, we kind of took a risk by ban or playing our kind of perma ban. But we also knew that if we banned bind, then thought we're gonna kind of take the bait and pick it today. So we kind of had like a backup plan of last night. If we did fall to the lower bracket, we'd have a completely new comp. Um, and we had played this comp in the past. So yeah, like the, the previous comp just wasn't working with uh, with the changes with, you know, Patty and Wook coming in. We had a very specific game plan with Miniboo. So yeah, we just decided to kind of prep it a few days ago, just, just for this moment to be fair, in case we needed it, so. Glad to see that you guys were willing to make a change when it counted the most. So let's see if Team Heretics can manage to close this series out. Oh, it's good old Neil Zeno. He's always one step ahead. And Team Heretics, a fantastic start here in the elimination match. I'm your host, Ian Sue, and I'm joined by Mimi and uh, Kukuka. The paddle? They had, they had me in the first half. The penguin stole it. Yeah. Uh, Looks but good yeah, on it, though. Yeah, they had me in the first half. They, they did. Have you they, in the first I half? mean, it was such a close game to begin there, but the second half, Team Heretics utterly ran them over. I think they implemented on this new comp really well. This double initiator composition works so well to set Wood up for these kind of mid round proactive moments. And you see it in the first kills, right? 13 to 7 in that one. Perfect conversion. I'm actually looking way below when I see the post plan. Look at that success rate for the side of Heretics. Their attack wasn't that long, but they only, uh, Foot was only able to win one of those retakes. And, you know, they were trying a lot of different things maybe being a little bit more aggressive trying to get a little bit of control but heretics and wood were always on top yeah but talking about this this comp change for team heretics i wanted to look specifically at one of the rounds here uh, that they were playing out and kind of highlight patatech's util i think he slotted onto the fade roll here really well uh, and this round starts off with them doing kind of some default proactive stuff down long then it's going to be a reaction with that uh, fade seize coming in to try and stall now they're going to fall back and play into this flood retake setup here with this fade ultimate coming in you're really getting a highlight on how all these different pieces of the Fade Util can help you out, even combining the lack of audio cues with that Dizzy coming up over the top to make this free take so successful. But as many de rounds did in this game, it came into kind of the chaos of the 1v2s, 1v3s at the end. But in this one, Team Heretics did manage to clean it up. Yeah, exactly. And Anna Captain was having a game. Time after time, we would see him performing brilliantly. Uh, but we have to say, it's very scary for any other team to be watching Heretics, to have plans for from one day to, to another, changing the composition with all the changes and still being so comfortable. And when we talk about being comfortable, we have to talk about Benji Fishy. Yes, the vibes, the smile, the personality, but also in game. Yesterday and today, he's having a moment here, Masters. Yeah, he, he has been so consistent throughout this event in those clutch rounds, in performing at the highest level on this Viper. The guy, I mean, it, it's crazy to think that this is like his first year at this level. He's just so comfortable on a big stage and it's no surprise with this guy. Yeah, it's so nice to see Benji uh, performing, but let's send it back down to Mika Fabs, who's with Coach Gaius ahead of map two. We've now got guys here and Scarlet to help with some translation. Now, um, guys, I wanted to know you've been up against Team Heretics for many, many times in the past. How do you as a coach deal with a team that's so familiar with you? Uh, guys, Team Heretics'e karşı çok fazla maça çıktın. Onlarla çok karşılaştın. Bu kadar tanıdığın bir ekibe karşı böyle maçlarda nasıl hazırlanıyorsun? Ya aslında çok ekstra bir şey olmuyor çünkü zaten dün akşam bitip bugün hemen maçı çıktığımız için kendi oyunumuzu oynamaya çalışıyoruz şu an için. Çünkü bugün rakibimiz G2 de olabilirdi. Şu an olabildiğince kendi oyunumuzu oynamaya çalışıyoruz. Fanatiye de aynısını yaptık işe yaradı. Şu an Heretics'e bu sezon daha galibiyet alamadık. Umarım son iki maçta galip ayrılırız. Umut ediyorum ama herhangi bir hazırlık yok tabii çünkü çok kısa zaman. O yüzden mecburen kendi oyunumuzu oynamak zorunda kalırız. Honestly, there's not a lot of time to prep, but we're obviously familiar with their playstyle. We've faced them a lot, but we don't have a win against them this season. Our opponent could have been G2, our opponent could have been Fnatic. So we mainly focus on our own games. There isn't that much time to prepare. Um, focusing on our own game worked against Fnatic. Hopefully it'll work this time in the next maps as well. Hopefully indeed. Thank you for your time. Let's see if Foot can make a comeback. I mean, this is the thing you heard it from Gaius. They haven't been able to get a single map against this Team Heretics uh, team all year. 
and my worry is they're going to have to try and do that for the first time ever on sunset. Well, and when it matters the most, right? But as you say, in, in sunset, out of all the maps, Team Heretics has proven that not only they know exactly how to play this map, they implement, they, they become so aggressive towards other teams that there is not a lot of preparation to do. And the confidence for this team has got to be high. After that choke last night, losing out on that series to G2, they came back, they had a great comp change into Bind, have got a dominant win there, and now this is really the home territory. I think they've looked great on Sunset throughout this event. And again, Foot trying to get over that hump of their first map win. But it's got to be two if they want to stay alive. Yeah, exactly. But keep things into perspective. Uh, uh, Heretics has been in this position before where, they, yes, they win that first map. It happened against G2 twice, right? And that has to be in the back of their minds now. They can close this out and just go to the Mercedes-Benz Arena. But they have to keep their mental in the game. Because Foot starting on the attack, do not forget what happens against Leviathan on this map. They just run them over, and Crax was the man of the hour. They absolutely did. Crax was great here. I think Yedeje also steps up. Foot's going to be playing on their defense. A lot of 4-1s and put a lot of pressure on that young player who's always stepped up to the plate. But Team Heretics on this map, as with pretty much all their maps, they do a great job of setting Woot up to be a star. The young Turkish player has a chance to eliminate CNET. And this is the thing. You talk about uh, what happened with Heretics. Foot, they have been in this position as well, and they've managed to bring things back to make it here. So Doug and Baby Bay, I have faith in them. Sue, I, I love and respect that you have faith in them, but Sunset is just a different beast when heretics are playing the way that they are. I mean, it, it wasn't Bench Fishy was popping off in the first map. They completely roll them in the second half, and now you go into their den. Yeah. Now you go into their playground. That's tough, man. Something that I'm worried about for Heretics though on a map like this is from the last map, it looked like they were too focused on the flank on their attacking side, or on their defensive side, sorry. And that's ultimately what fumbled a lot of rounds for them. So sure. Foot might be able to take advantage of that into this map, into Heretics map pick. Perhaps. They were late to the fight a lot. You're right about that. And this map does tend to lend itself to more stuff like that. So that very well may be part of the Part of the plan, part of the problem. Benji Fishy will get tagged by the stun, but still, of course, recklessly swinging out to take the fight, because why not? Meanwhile, Ming Man tried getting out, tried getting this fight down, unfortunately failed, but Heretics might be able to hold him back. Look, it re-ends. Cracks at a shock at his feet. What a brutal way for the round to end. Reens gets three there. Heretics dealt with the fire of Foots. Execute there on the B site. Benji Fishy living. By a, by a thread of a hair. Nice entry from Woot. And then Rian's just flooding through that smoke. Using the shock dart to end the round and finish it for them. A convincing pistol round for Team Heretics on their map pick. One step forward, 12 to go. Foot on a broken buy, they don't force anything up. Yedrj has a, a sheriff, excuse me. So there's a little something behind this. This stun got a lot of value last time around. Reigns will hit. sidestep it. Spike down. It's the same feet. hit. And he gets this one for it. Benji Fishy has a different set of positioning here, though. And it's going to allow him to move around so much. I mean, he can fully commit to pushing yeah. market. He can flank all the way back into main. And that's exactly where he to Jay's worried about, concerned about. They've left one on site. What can Attic happen get away with here that much? They've managed to upgrade a weapon too into the hands of CNET instantly hits the ground. But they've gotten it down to twos. They just don't really have the weapons. Mr. Fallen picking up the Bulldog, the flash over the top, but Benji Fishy on the swing behind it, the smoke, the only thing is keeping him apart. One falls. Mr. Fallen, the only one with the weapon, but Patatek's gonna hold the diffuse through all of that. Almost goes the way of foot here. But just sticking the bomb was Rian's. And Pat Attack, he did a really good job of using his utility to set up Benji Fishy. I apologize, I believe that was Pat Attack who stuck the bomb. But yeah, I mean, it was chaotic. That's, that's constant back and forth into that round. The yeah. pistol's thriving. Seen it got an upgrade with the Bulldog. That's tough, man. You see right for there. Heretics, they won that round. That's, that's a Pyrrhic Careful victory. There. Like, they don't have anything to fight back with here. They're on such a, a terrible buy. And that's why you see the outlaw buy once more for Yereje. 
They'll probably prod up top mid, maybe in the market. Just that alone will gather a lot of space for foot on this attacking side. Very slow approach from foot once more. Depositing two players in B main. That will be the cue for Yedeje to start walking up into this mid area, but this one-way camera, he's not aware of it yet. Here. He's actually, he's getting so much info off this. He sees that there hasn't been another set of foot, footsteps coming through. And he saw the cage, so he understands that's where the lurk is going to be coming from. Oh, see, Ned. What a miserable way to get caught like that. Benji Fishy now punishing, and still understanding there's a flank. There's pressure coming in from the other side. He decides to tuck into the smoke and try to fight out main. Pays for it with his life, but damage has been dealt. This is the Sheriff round that felt like missed all the first half. And now Wu gets an upgrade with the Outlaw, even if he gets a tag. That's a W for foot. The Boo has been stopped. A stinger in the hands of Pad Attack. Pad Attack with a flash in his face, tries to turn, and he's so blinded. What can Mr. Fallen do? A 1v3 in the inferior weaponry. The tag on the Wu is brutal. The Satchel to keep him back. It's going to do its job. A MasterCard thrifty as Heretics win the bonus. I mean, do you even call it a bonus? I don't know what that was. I guess it was, uh, I don't know, an eco? <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, all they invested was sheriffs, but they were steady as a rock with them. Spike Multiple down. players. Look at, oh my. I don't even think he saw him. He didn't see him. CNET didn't see him. And then the use of the satchels here to delay that peak from Mr. Fallen. They pulled a fast one on him, the young kids on the block. Suppressing. Early dagger connects on the two members of foot, so that will be info gathered for heretics. The reaction is a speed up in mid from Atta Captain, but nothing else gained for the side of foot on this. No, I think it, at best, you're going to want to get Cena to find something, get a pick, right? Kind of open up the map a little bit. He's the only one with a rifle. The Sheriff's not settling there. They've gotten him really far out. They've gotten him really far up, and he's going to push into spawn. Has to peek ahead of this, though, because he knows he's been spotted. He's been had. He gets his one, but the rifle's not in a position to be scooped up here. But Cracks pushing it anyway. He might succeed. Yeah, he does. Could be the deciding factor into this round, into this post plant for a foot. Mr. Fallen trying to set him up, supporting utility to keep him alive. Very cleanly done. Now the rolling thunder. It's gonna tag onto one. Pat attack managed to get through that unscathed, and not filling in on the space behind it. Meanwhile, Benji Fish, you're trying to buy his time. Trying to find it. No way. He Pat attack it again. falls. No, he has to. He's gotta come off of it. He gets his one. There's a challenge on the other side. The third? No. Oh, out of captain. Gets them there first. And somehow stays alive. That was madness. And the hero buy for CNED. He just ran into that B site like a madman. Pushing all the way to spawn and he couldn't convert on the second. Patatek got the trade on him here. But Cracks was able to pick up that rifle and get some more kills going into this round. And Mr. Fallen, he was the star of the show for his team here, delaying that retake, keeping Cracks alive for as long as possible. So foot on the board, Heretics on a broken by. Okay. Seen it one away from his ult. And Woot ahead of it, aware of it. Oh. They've cleared the Roomba, so they don't know he's there. Patience. That's the name of the game here. Poison. He knows he's baiting him into it, and he punishes. That setup was there from the beginning. He was so patient with it. The response from Foot is to take A main okay. control, invest the thrash into the round, but that KO ult gets him off of it. Foot have to be careful here. Not only has that part of the plan been snuffed out, but because of how things right opened up on B-Main, they've lost the weapon. That's another rifle into the hands of heretics. And on the other end of this, once this KO alt goes down, there's still a dagger that will connect onto three Three's players. There it is. To burn the clock down even more. And then if that's not enough, you have Woot, who's got his ult. 
You've got Rians who's got his ult. Delay is the name of the game here. There's the Hunter's Fury. The Paranoia out. Patatech trying to land the shots. Cracks falls. Wood invests his as well, but he's not able to find any success. They've got to hurry back and try to pick up the spike with 20 seconds left. I know They've exactly managed to do so, and now the ult. Position given away. No element of surprise here. Spike, spike planted. planted the reposition through from out of captain. The flash in the face of Benji Fish. He still manages to land the shots and get his one, leaving Rians on his own. No armor and a 1v2. He can't hold him back. In the face of so much adversary, foot. They come out on top. They got delayed time and time again. But it was that isolated pick with this omen flash on a pad attack that was the deciding factor in winning this. Atta Captain just being fully enabled. And then the up down right here to close it out. A lot of ultimates invested from the side of Team Heretics to try to win that one back. Four on light armor for the defensive side. Pat attack the man on your screen. The only one without. And Boo, he's playing such a passive little a pixel little. angle here. Doesn't connect, but he gets the info. And he's going to get out with his life. He did take some damage in exchange. It's a really nice flash there. That's such a deep smoke. I mean, that's a one way to stop them from funneling out of the other side, but... He TP'd back into it. I don't think they'd be expecting that. Who is a really nice spot here. Slows things down, buys his time. Now the retake of Temple come through. You see another smoke coming out from Boo as the drone ventures forth. They're all funneled in here. They've got to be careful. Three on the site. Look at him. Tucked in, huddled up, now paranoid, and now dead. One enemy but there are remains. layers to this, but all of the layers are crumbling. Every single one of them falling apart. Atta Captain will join his teammates. Utility for utility. Shame. It was that omen flash from Boo. He saved it the entire round. It flew right across that default box and enabled Woot with the satchel to just clean up house. And this is a lot of the success that we saw Heretics have the last time around playing this map of Sunset. They're so good at retaking both sides of the map and then changing the pace and flooding after that. It's been a back and forth battle, but Heretics, they're running away with the lead just a little bit. I must wait a moment. Oh, that's aggressive. That's fast out from CNED. Very fast, but he's playing with fire right now. That one way comes up to dissuade him. No. Yeah, Jay, we'll take all of mid control off of that. And the fall line certainly didn't help either. The paranoia is going to split the upright. But you see Yedijay trying to fill in on the space behind it. Benji Fish is still tucked in his cage. He's not even the one who strikes. Now finding his timing, but CNET. What a hold! He gets three! But he's going to have to get them all. With the spike in hand and over a minute left in the round, he can slow things down, I guess. But Heretic's position right now on the map is so good might work against them though, Doug, because they are very spread apart. But I imagine that Patatech, he's just gonna keep jiggling from this top box, wait for that spike to, to go down or maybe a tap from yeah. CNET. Yeah. I mean, their positioning right now is all about reconnaissance, right? The only way that they can safely get through this if they were to go all the way in the lobby, into spawn, and then rotate back A. A lot of boxes checked here. A lot of map cover. 30 seconds left. I mean, as best as you can, given that you only have two. But CNED, time's running out. If you're going to make a decision, you've got to do so soon. Quick last check of market to find that things are safe. The knife's going to tag them. And now, now they're on the prowl. Now they know where he is. He still managed to get the spike down. Gets the credits for it, sure. If nothing else, he has that much. He will be able to delay the bomb to fuse. I say that as Patatech just spams him through the smoke. And the tracers give him away. I was gonna say, I mean, he could have used that nade off the tap, maybe get a spam kill off of that when there's pandemonium on the actual site, people running away from the bomb. Disrespect being shown from Heretics onto CNET. And it's Rians with that supporting utility once more, that dart to help 
Benji Fishy in the market, isolate that kill and enable him to focus on the site right after. And even the way Benji Fishy plays that, as soon as he sees the Omen TPing in, he takes a slight step to the left, Cut, tucks behind the cover, so you know he's not going to get swung Let's main. Go. Is able to isolate that as best as he can. Those little decisions there in the chaos are so clean for heretics. It's the difference between getting one kill and two kills, maybe yeah, even three. three. See the buy for foot, a guardian for Mr. Fallen. Camera taken out. That's a name we uh, haven't said a ton. But he's quietly put together a decent performance. The only one on his team that's positive right now. Yedeje is just trapped in top mid, not able to perform that top mid for his team. And CNET, he will double satchel on the site. It's all up to Woot here. Here. Sure, bit too much. Can Benji Fishy strike from the exact same spot? The kid is electric, man. What are you gonna do with that rocket? No one's gonna swing you. Biding his time. Is he gonna get rewarded with a the kill there? No. Who throws it in reverse, takes a quick step back, and now venturing forth, pushing forward. Would have gotten the spike down. They've gotten two rifles upgraded to him as well. The paranoia was nice. Seen it one for one, though, which just isn't enough. Add a Captain Sheriff. It's going to be a tough thing for him to pull off. The spam comes through. He will fall. And it was that late flank as well, just to secure the round if need be. The discipline from Heretics once more showing. Not giving CNET and the Rocket anything. And understanding the gap, the timing that Yedeje took top mid. They were able to drone out, pinch him, and then just hunker down and secure the round one. And so Heretics will get to six. The timeout will come through for foot. Because they've won, I mean, they've won these rounds in bunches. They win three, and then Foot kind of put this thing back together, and then another three come through. But Heretics on their map pick, they're looking so strong right now, Doug. And Benji Fishy wasn't even playing on the B site that time. He flanked all the way around. So now something more to be worried about for Foot. If there wasn't and, enough. Yeah, <laughs> a, a, another look. Yeah. All these things that you have to consider when pressure is at its highest. When the stakes have never been greater for them. They made it to playoff stage, yeah. But you know where the real sweetness lies. And that's in front of the big crowd. That's in front of the big stage. That's in front of the bright lights. And you want to be the EMEA team that's representing the entire region. Going into that Mercedes-Benz arena. The final hope of EMEA. One of these two teams will carry that banner forth. And right now, it seems like it's Heretics strides ahead. It's been very convincing so far. There was a lot of scrap in the beginning, but they've seemed to clean it up. As we head into this ninth round, Foot decide to go for a slow B main default. This time, no satchels invested from CNED. But the bomb is leaned towards A. Contact, the name of the game here. You know, oftentimes you see a little bit of utility elsewhere. Watch them run. Right, that's been enough to draw Boo to commit the TP to end B, but look where the spike is. There's a lot that Woot's gonna have to figure out here, and he doesn't have the time to do it. A nice punish from Mr. Fallen, and now they're going to freeze the round. But the problem with this freeze here is that's going to allow Heretics to rotate back A. So if Foot do want to end here, all of the manipulating of rotations that they did at the beginning of the round, it's gone. He's hearing all of this. Patatech has full info as to what's going on now. And look at the positioning from Heretics. They're already here. Patatech might have regretted being here as he's dealt with. Boo on the snap, that's real clean, but... You're gonna have to do more than that. Give me a corpse. Where is everyone? Someone give the man a corpse. Footsteps hurt as well. Paranoia in his face. They know where he is. He can see the swing coming, and there's nothing he could do about it. Rian's in a 1v3. Left. Nothing found. Not a single kill. Foot get their third. That was a very nicely called round off of the timeout. It was a fake from start to finish. Heretics bit. And Mr. Fallen with that entry and just being a bodyguard, protecting the president, who was Karax while he was in Thrash. That was it.
Add a captain had a reflink to secure the round. That was a beautiful round for foot. Yeah, but honestly, all of it falls apart, falls apart if Mr. Fallen doesn't get that opener onto Woot. Yeah. So massive props to him. Big round from the breach, and now ult on line two, and it's the same look. The spike was cheating over towards A last time. It was still, it wasn't in tow. But it's the same look, C Ned. Somehow dancing away. Cast the swing. Avoiding the damage initially, but you cannot hide. Still a little bit more damage found. The spike's still not in hand. And just like that, Ada Captain is in and out after trading. A site has to be given for Team Heretics and B site. Boo, a lot rests on his shoulders right here. Scatter. Very reminiscent of the conversation we were having in the previous round, but it was Mr. Fallen who had the pressure. Oh. If Boo can find some space, yeah, maybe, but you've got to be paranoid of that. You've got to understand that you could be getting pushed elbow here. It's just a matter of time on when they turn around. Atta Captain isn't turning. He's not turning! And now they've got the Hunter's Fury they have to deal with. Again, trying to find any target, trying to get any free tag, any free damage. Mr. Fallen was the hero in the previous round, and they're gonna call on him to deliver once more, but he can't. He just can't. The proactivity from Boo. He knows he was the solo anchor. He took a timing down lane. Wrapping all the way around elbow. That's no more smokes after he takes out Atta Captain. And then the retake utility from Heretics. It doesn't matter what kind of numbers they have. It's always just so clean. Cena did a really good job early on here, actually, in the face of adversity, getting a kill. But it was this play that I spoke of. That was it. That omen flash to secure the round with the KO. Molly. I mean, Mr. Fallen had no chance in the 1v3. <laughs> the window of opportunity for Foot is closing. It's getting smaller and smaller. Heretics at seven. Right there. 4 1 approach for Team Heretics. This breach out will connect onto at least Woot. Woot but an early nade. That's so. Aggressive and Benji Fish is able to play behind that. They've invested the Rolling Thunder, they've invested the Paranoia. Seen it. What? Stuns are cosmetic! Unbelievable! How does he get away with it? They should have fallen, they should have crumbled! But the walls stand strong. Right, what does he have to do here? <laughs> so insane. I mean, he can't do much. It's a 1v4, and with the disciplined approach that Heretics have had all series long. And the money's, just, the money's terrible, too. He just has to save. And it really feels like that was it. That was the round you needed to secure. You needed that. 30 seconds left. You invested the breach ult. And you, I mean, you bought into it. This was a gun round. This was your best chance at a 7-5. It was the half. And all of a sudden, we're talking about the likelihood of a 9-3. My question was whether or not Heretics would hunt because their money's in a, a decent spot for them to Ten go after it, but left. it didn't seem like they were interested in moving. But now they've gotten active. Wow, my eyes are down. And I don't know that they're going to find him. I should be able to come out of this unscathed, oh. unscathed and bring this Vandal into the next round. The only one close by is Boo. And they're just Last guessing round at this point. Before the switch. Spend like there is no the tomorrow. protocols of heretics, they're just too clean. I don't know, protocols, bro. He was fully stunned. <laughs> What's a protocol in that? I just imagine he would get traded out. That's been the name of the game so far on this map, yeah. on this site. I mean, That's true. even Woot, I mean, he got hit by that rolling thunder, but he floods straight back in off the dart of Rians and supporting utility. But you are right. I mean, if CNET gets that entry, it could be a completely different narrative. Maybe a salvation to a disaster of a half. It doesn't seem like it's getting any better. Boo has been farming this over for free these last couple of rounds, by the way. He did it in the previous. There was no challenge. Lone one who was close, who may have heard it, would have been Yedujay. 
This time he will get pushed back, but he steps back in and takes the head off a of CNET. Send into the next half. Not allowed to play the game these last two rounds. He continues to do his job. He continues to do what's asked of him, but now Mr. Fallen sitting on the other side of this one way. How do Foot get in? Right here. The tip of the spear has been blunted. There is no go anymore. There is no execute. And so maybe through utility, they're able to find a window. Brute force their way into the site. Enemy mark. Pry the bars open. Right there. But it's tough, man. They're just locked in. They're locked out. You see the smoke coming through. There's a little bit of utility that'll help Pat attack. It's in a pretty brutal spot here, but if he dances around and plays cards right, he's going to be able to be the last one left standing. Singing the final song of this half for Heretics. There he is. He strikes in the spike. The most prized possession sits at his feet on 9-3 half. The way of Heretics. Dre, it was close until it wasn't. That rollout on, on B, excuse me, just kind of destroyed everything. And Boo. The step back into the punish. Such a good anchor on this A site all tournament long. Even when he's walking backwards, he's trekking. Stops on a dime, gets another to clean up. You're so good. The one word of caution I will give is that we've seen Heretics have a very big lead very recently. We'll see if they can hang on this time. Yinsu, what do you think? Dog, I'm going to pretend like you never said that and that never happened because it's a great start. A 9-3 half for Team Heretics. Yeah, Lightning doesn't tend to strike twice with those kind of comebacks. I mean, Team Heretics looked incredible throughout this one. I think uh, proving again why this is a map that they have played so consistently and they're so comfortable on it. Woot, I think, had a great start to this game with this Sova KO composition. He had set up so well to perform. And it's so important to also notice where he lands in the perspective that the team has towards this game retake after retake. Just the same thing that we were seeing on by the utility is so important that it's safe and someone has to be the spearhead for all, the spearhead for all of this and that has to be Woods. Even when there's barely any piece of utility following him up, he is going to perform. He absolutely did in, in so many moments throughout this half and that'll only continue once we get into their attacking side. But for foot, this is really where they have to dig deep. If they lose this pistol round, they are in dire straits for the Turkish squad who has already put together their deepest run. We have ever seen at an international I'm event. still looking at cracks. I'm looking at, at, at Paddy Tech as well. I want to see those initiators shutting down and I want to see more of what we saw from, from Wood. We need to see from Sinit. It is the moment for him to step up if he wants to stay here and keep competing. I mean, this is the thing. This is an, uh, uh, an impossible comeback. It has been done before. The Night 3 curse, it exists. But the question is though, can Foot do it? Are they going to be the second team in a row in this tournament to pull off a comeback against Team Heretics? Let's get the rest of this map underway and get back into game with Doug and Baby May. Much obliged to you. Yeah, there's no way that this happens again. There's no way they let a lead of monumental proportions get away from them. I mean, we, we you know, saw them in the hallway uh, after map one and they're like, yeah, no, no comebacks this time. We're not going to allow it. And I mean, they're going to have to put their money where their mouth is here. The key difference here is that this is their map pick. They're familiar with this. They have so many reps. This tournament alone on it. Sure. That nade is going to hurt. That does not feel good. There was nowhere for Pat Attack to go. Woot's going to be a casualty as well. That's a really nice defensive hold so far. But who else but Boo? Paving the way. Answering back. Benji now walking onto the site. Crack's gonna take a 1v1, but Boo again, what? steadying the shots in the face of a flash. Manages to get another. Just when it seems like Heretic should be put away. They continue to chip a little bit. They continue to find an advantage here, an advantage there. They're just nuisances. They never go away. When you think you've got them done, it's heroics. And it's going to require heroics if they want to get this pistol, if they want to get to 10. There's uh -oh. one. Uh-oh. Last player standing. Can Benji fish you 1v2? No. Overwhelmed. The J on the swing, but a fuse will come through for CNED. Foot needed the pistol, and they got it. It was a good start. It was a good trap in mid from Foot. And it got a little shaky, got a little dicey. 
but they were able to hone it in and get the trades onto the actual site and secure a pistol round win to start a comeback. That was that trap I was speaking of, nade into Gecko Flash, and even at a captain from Market. Very nicely played. They're still smiling. That's a good sign. Foot up to four. An outlaw in the hands of Woot. The desk talked about how this felt like this is the moment that Cena needed to deliver again. Deliver in, excuse me. He needed to be, or needs to be, the leader for his team here. He needs to be a spark because Woot has done this entire series what CNET has needed to do. I mean, he just lit a fuse right yeah. on Atta Captain's head. And now that's the smoke's gone from the round. And more pad attack cleaning up the tag from Woot. A nade to push back Yedige. And the entire map now is a playground for Team Heretics. My camera is they may have more options than they know what to do with. And what's tough is there's no win for on the other side, so CNET has to rotate back B because of the possibility of a flip. They're spread so thin. Just a luxury they don't have in being able to stack here. The problem with this though is that even if they get picked, if they get picked off, they're gonna lose these weapons. The upgrades are only gonna get better for heretics. The situation only getting more and more dire for foot. Yes, CNED needs to deliver. Yes, there's a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Yes, there's a lot of eyes on him. But this? A 1v5? It's and now impossible. they know where he is? It's impossible. Heretics get to 10. That, no that might be that. the dagger. They invested so much into that. That wasn't like a, a hobbled together buy. It wasn't stingers and, and things like this. I woot. That entry onto the smokes player and then the tag to allow Pat attack to secure the round, basically. And you're seeing it on the faces of Foot. That was the round you had to win. The one that gets away. No point in thinking about that, though. They're going to have to make wine out of water if they want to pull this off. Literally looking for something out of nothing, and unfortunately for them, that's what they found there, nothing. They tried to set it up. They tried to make a trap play. But Heretics, they're too ready for these plays. They're not going to let this one slip away like Foot did in the previous round. And with an outlaw on this attacking side, you have so much to worry about if you're the defense. You don't want to peek certain angles. You don't want to jiggle for space. Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't give them a line. This head-to-head -head right here. Boo will come out on top. And now he's just going to probe into the A site. <sighs> Trying to salvage anything his foot with a flash in again. But that freeze, it baited out all the rotations and that entire A space gathered from Boo. He calls his team back, the IGL, taking things into his own hands after left. getting that entry. Foot came into this tournament as the number three seed from EMEA, but in the eyes of many is the best team to come from that region. There was a lot of hope. There was a lot of excitement behind this squad and they roared out onto the stage. Don't get me wrong, they looked good. People understood why. Yeah, these guys can compete. These guys are pushing for hardware. Player standing. But it seems like they're gonna take a bow to Shanghai with a whimper. This has been one of the most one-sided maps we've seen. Meanwhile, Heretics, as they get a flawless round win, as they get up to 11, now just two rounds away, two steps from the biggest stage so far. Their performance at Madrid, I mean, that's Long such gone. a distant memory, right? To get obliterated the way that they did. And yeah, they went up against Sentinels. And yeah, they went up against Heretics. I'm not, I'm not taking that away from them. But the truth is, they went 0-2 when people had more expectations. People wanted more from these young kids. And it seems like they've matured and they've grown in such a massive way to go from 0-2 to the Mercedes-Benz Arena, potentially. 
is just so impressive. No Even just no bouncing way. back from that 11 to 2 lead. Oh, it's not getting any better, Dre. It's not getting any better. CNED tried punishing with the rocket, and the high ground for move was too much. An obliteration of foot. Rians, another kill. And a free B site, holding for his team to rotate all the way through. But are so far behind in this round, in this match. Right there. A perfect representation of what's gone on this series. I mean, the first half of Bind was good. It was 6-6. We thought we had a fight on our hands. Grenade. That was the last swing that we saw come out from foot. Cracks and Mr. Fallen will again be called upon to deliver heroics, to deliver magic. And heretics, I mean, they've been in the face of this before. Again, surely they don't make the same mistakes that plague them just 24 hours prior. And there's no time to do this, so foot, they're gonna throw in the towel on this round. Bring those guns into the next, and they're gonna have to perform an even greater miracle than what G2 did yesterday if they want to represent EMEA at the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Woot, he saw the barrel of Mr. Fallen. Mr. He Fallen. will get taken down. Yeah, cleans him up, puts a crosshair right on him. So both rifles will look like they will be carried into the next. And that's all they're gonna have. Match point. The final hope here, man. It's so tough when it feels like nothing is going the way of a team. They're trying to be proactive. Right, they're trying to set these traps. They're trying to take the initiative, but they're just, they're just getting punished. Yeah, you're not even seeing the same pop-offs from heretics that you normally see. You don't see them out of their seats. You don't see them going nuts. They know they've got foot exactly where they want him, and so foot hobble their way into the 17th round of regulation. What might be the last? That no one. tag. Oh, yeah, it's not connecting, and Woot will gladly fill him behind it, and even that, a couple of parting shots, which should just be a warning, ends out tagging onto scene at 63 HP. No armor left. Heretics pushing forward now, looking to put foot down. The bomb will go down, and so does CNET. Once more, a 4v5 now for foot. Tournament life on the line. But we'll put one Shadows. final attempt at retaking a site and prolonging this series. A flash in the face of Woot. The sidestep is there, and of course he snaps! Just like that! Cracks and J, what can you do? They've got the utility, they've got the mollies. What they don't have is numbers. And so Cracks will fall, and then there were four. Back to back to back as heretics toss foot aside and survive. From being three rounds away to the Mercedes-Benz Arena, they booked their ticket there today. And in a very convincing fashion, I had a lot of my own doubts of if these young kids could bring it back. When you're that young, your mentality can be so fragile. But they stood strong here today. And Foot, unfortunately, will bow out. They put up a fight all tournament, but it just wasn't enough. Falling short just in the last step. And the truth is, unfortunately, they got rolled. Meanwhile, for Heretics, those nightmares from yesterday proved to be just that. Just nightmares. They wake up to a new day, a new approach, a fresh outlook on the situation. And I've got to remind people again, they were met with the same spot. They were up big. They had a chance to put a team away. And this time, instead of dealing with the disaster of what took place, they slammed the door on their EMEA counterparts. And kisses for the crowd for Benji Fishy. What a story. 13-4, what a performance, man.
again, it it was close in the first half of Bind. But from, from that point forward, Dre, Heretics just ran over foot on both sides of the proverbial ball. Their calling was exceptional. They were fragging from top to bottom. The micro adjustments that they were making, Benji Fishy could put together a frag movie from this series alone. They were in the driver's seat the entire time, and he was nothing short of spectacular. You're 100% correct. And it wasn't just the individual performance, like you said, the team play, the discipline, using utility together, chaining it on the retakes. Swinging off one another left and right. Winning as a team here today. And so Heretics survive. They go from not winning a series in Madrid to being one of the last four standing. Everything that they've wanted when this team was put together. There was excitement. They're so young and they're so cracked. And the one question was, can they mature enough? So far, it seems like they have the Verizon post-match interview with Wood on the stage right now. Laura, take it away. Hello, 大家好，欢迎来到赛后采访，我是维嘉。让我们再次恭喜 Team Heretics 赢下了本场比赛的胜利。我们也是请到了 Wu 选手来接受我们的采访。And welcome to the post-match interview. And now I'm joined by Wu from Team Heretics with us. Hi, Wu. Congratulations. Thank you. Ni hao, everyone. Ni hao, everyone. 首先也想问一下 Wu 选手，因为他们现在也是拿到了最后一个通往梅赛德斯奔驰文化中心的机会。想问一下，他此时此刻脑海中在想些什么 ？Now you are able to play in Benz Arena. What thoughts are going through your mind right now? It's like it's like a dream. I'm so happy to like qualify for Mercedes Benz Arena, also like top four in the world. I'm proud of my team. We didn't prac good. Like we didn't prac enough. We just come with standing. We played for fun, and we are still top four. Imagine how we're gonna play with the mini boo. Just this. I'm waiting for mini boo. 他说：“其实他们现在真的非常非常开心，这一切对于他们来说就像是做梦一样。他们现在成功进入到了上海大师赛的四强，对于他们来说真的这一切非常非常的开心。而且可能这次的比赛他们确实没有那么多的时间去准备，但是也但是也达到了一个很好的效果。而且这回可能没有 Mini Boo 和他们一起来参与比赛，他们很想念他，但是也相信之后他们会在一起打出更好的成绩来。那接下来第二个问题，可能想问一下，因为其实在这次的上海大师赛 ，Wood 选手也是转变了位置。”想问一下，他在队伍里打决斗的感觉怎么样？同时，对他来说，这个转变轻松吗？呃、uh, ，You've changed your role in this Masters. So how's the feeling of being a duelist in your team? And was it a smooth transition? Like it's, it's it was hard when I was start practicing in duelist with team because you need to like more comms, more fundamentals. But I think I adapted well. I'm just. Trying to do my job in the team, I don't want to do any extra. I want to just win with my fundamentals. So I adapted well, I think. But I don't want to play that much entry. <laughs> so you're enough for the duelist? Yeah, I want to play flex. Okay. 他说，其实对于他来说，这个决定一开始所有的准备工作可能并不轻松，因为他对他来说，如果转变到决斗，需要更多的基本功，需要更多的配合，所以也需要更多的练习。在这个过程中，确实没有想象中的那么容易。但是可能他觉得他自己做的还是非常不错的。然后最后呢，他可能也是觉得他还是不是很喜欢决斗这个位置。我问他，我说，那你是不太想打决斗了吗？他说，可能他自己更喜欢一个自由人的位置。那我们也可以期待一下乌兹选手之后的发挥。那我。我们今天的赛后采访呢，到这里也先结束了。And that's all for our interview. Thanks you for joining me again. Sorry. That's all for our interview. Thank you for joining me again. And see you guys in Benz Arena. Okay? Yeah. See you. Why in everyone? 我最后也是说了一句我爱你，非常可爱。那我们今天的赛后采访到这里就先结束了。接下来让我们梅赛德斯奔驰文化中心见。Oh, what a fantastic series that was for Team Heretics. Uh, Kakuka, you were right and I was wrong. <laughs> you just really wanted to say that. Yeah. I mean, I'm very happy with their performance. They should be happy with they, what they were accom accomplishing here today. Um, we know that this was a very young team. At the beginning of the year, even just talking to Neil, he told me that this was a long-term project. They didn't expect it to be this way. Yeah, and they're still playing with a stand and they're now a top four team in this tournament. An incredible run from them. But of course, that means we have to say goodbye to some of the favorites here. In Masters Madrid, Paper X definitely the fan favorite, and I think a lot of people expected them to win this event, but they got knocked out in that great series against Hundred Thieves. Another heartbreaking loss for this Pacific squad. Still 
unable to find that trophy. But for foot, I think they can walk away pretty happy from this run. It's their deepest performance yet in a international tournament. CNED looks comfortable on this team. They're definitely stepping up and have grown so much throughout this year. Yeah, and they got eliminated by another EMEA team. Yeah. Both of the EMEA teams were eliminated uh, by another representative. They're eating each other up. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's how we do things. But I'm very, very excited to see how Foot is going to uh, measure with the rest of the region once they're back home because, you know, they have a very good chance of uh, going to Korea at the end of the year. This is the thing we said about, you know, earlier in the tournament, if you drop down to the lower bracket, you have to play paper. You have to play foot. But if we take a look at the bracket now, as we head to the Mercedes-Benz Arena, if you drop down from there, you got to play the winner of uh, 100 Thieves and Heretics. And again, either of these teams, I feel like, could even win this tournament at this point. I feel like you could make an argument for any of these teams at this yep. point. I mean, everyone has really stepped up. G2 making the miracle run happen. Gen G with a flawless run thus far, looking to make a do of losing the Madrid finals and both 100 Thieves in Team Heretics. Mm -hmm. uh, I think really hitting peak form in that lower bracket. Gen G looking the best. Any upset can come on the, from the side of Heretics. But so far, Heretics has you know, defeated the Chinese teams and EMEA teams, right? Like, I think that that 100 Thieves uh, Heretics is going to be a before and an after for the organization. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing EU go up against EU, of course. Um, <laughs> of I had course. to. I had to. Uh, but yeah, this was our last day here at the VCTCN studio, and we're moving into a bigger venue for the final three days of competition, the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Uh, of course, uh, you guys just saw the schedule. You know what's coming up. But before we round everything else off, there's one thing we need to do. What's that? I believe, Mimi, we have a birthday girl in the studio. <laughs> right? I was Happy saying. birthday, Bea. Oh, thank you, Mimi. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we actually prepared something for oh you. Oh my god! Aww. Because, you know, <laughs> every day is Ryan Central's birthday, so it's not often that we get Kukukas. But they want to year. So I'm so happy to share my birthday and, with Ryan. Uh, this is on fire. That's how much <gasps> oh we love like. you. And we should probably. Oh, okay. You have four more candles. You blow it out. You have four more candles. Was that supposed to, to be on fire? Okay, let it me was. think. Let me think of what wish I went. That concerned me deeply. <laughs> what, did you wish for a heretic's win? Uh, I guess that we will know in the future. Okay, we okay. will know. You're uh, not going to tell us. I'm very well. powerful. My wishes in, are very powerful. In okay. case you guys at home wondered, it's also Mika's birthday tomorrow. So make sure you True. send her a lot of love on social media. We are going to be uh, away for a few days. But what, the next time we'll see you guys, we'll be at the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Everybody have a lovely rest. And we'll see you then. <laughs> it's your cake. It smells oh like, guys, it smells like we're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we live. <laughs> Back at Chance Bustio had the formula to take down this Paper Rex team, but what happened in the past does not matter anymore. It's elimination today, and Paper Rex have a very, very tough job ahead of them. Cryo, Johnny on the spot, accurate with the aim. Three kills for him, three rounds for 100 Thieves. <laughs> Will just be fighting up straight up, and something, the counter spam here from his Asana, absolutely gorgeous. The follow-up, even more beautiful. Swing coming in, the tank is there, but the kill cannot be found. It's all on EU. Finds one, finds himself a second. Time bought, the push for it, and Mind Freak confirms the kill. Something really spotted, but Mind Freak able to find one, but Bang putting down something. Oh. Bang putting down Forsaken. This Jing trying to swing out what? of his cove, and Cryo says, absolutely not. It's happening again. It's like a scent. It's an 100 Thieves. Kick off this series, 13 to five. A dominant start on their map pick. Austin able to find one, Forsaken dead. Chang swings through, however, and finds them both. <laughs> Paranoia at the ready set. They're all in, but Forsaken guns down three. Cash hasn't been built up super well for them. In perfect position, Bustio still gets the shot. Denies the ace. <laughs> Something hearing a little bit of noise. The thrash gonna be coming in, he tries for the timing and he finds it. Something dripping around the back. Busio cleared out and something finds the third. It's everything we wanted and more. Elimination on the line and map three delivered. Brought to you by Paper X. Able to find Forsaken. That's going to be the instant res coming through. And something over the top of yellow drops down. Finds Busio. Takes his head off. Tucks in. Swings. Looks for the third. Finds it. Something coming online. Spotting him out. Had to tuck back. They re swing. They line up. Asuna collects them both. As is the vibe, but he's able to stabilize, finding one. Bang, cleans up two. Jing answering back, has the res. He's just so damn wary, but Jing able to find one. Now EU at backside, looking for the spray through. He's pushing it on the Jing, but Jing draws down. 
jump peek, something. The shot across to put the EU down low on HP, but Bang collects three. The EU once again asked to be the one to clutch. He plays it out patiently. They're not checking for him, but for a second, finally spots it and somehow gets the kill. Making their way over here in towards this A side. Bang gonna be coming in for a second, gonna be taken down. Lucio playing forward, dealt with, but Asuna down below. Bang trying to hold, Ooh. it, Bang finding it, getting them both. They fought tooth and nail to get the overtime, but Paper X cannot extend their series. They cannot reset it. They cannot get revenge on Bustio. He once again sends them home trophyless. This is a very familiar regional matchup, but this time around they are standing on the international stage and they're fighting for survival. However, the numbers are on Team Heretic's side. They have never lost to foot before. Oh, oh. That was messy, but the spams, the tracers are just followed all the way back into Rian's is death. The smoke went up, pipes and satchel came out, but Benji Fishy was not moved. The numbers starting to dwindle as the pick goes down. Benji Fishy lets it drop, gets a kill. He gets them all. Oh my goodness. Oh, did he? Now the satchel out, the rocket connects. It's the bulldog, it's the rocket, it's everything. But the pit is still in play, it's still a problem. You've got this reflank coming through with elbows. Boo's able to keep them all back. Cena is gonna have to 1v3. Can't find a thing. Heretics get to 13. Now paranoid, and now dead. But there are layers to this, but all of the layers are crumbling. Every single one of them falling apart. Benji Fish is still tucked in his cage. He's not even the one who strikes. Now finding his timing, but Cena, what a hold. He gets three. Let's go. Singing the final song of this half for Heretics. There he is, he strikes in the spike. The most prized possession sits at his feet. Nice! Good shit! And then there were four. Back to back to back as heretics toss foot aside and survive.